Hey folks, welcome back to the Holy Comforter YouTube Bible study. I'm Jimmy App, the priest here at Holy Comforter, and I have some thoughts and reflections to share with you on the gospel lesson for this upcoming Sunday. But before we get there, today is Monday, October 7th. The Astros are playing today. I, I got my Astro shirt. I got my uh, spaceship socks, all supporting the Astros. So here's hoping that by the time you watch this, the Astros have moved on in the playoffs. Anyway, Luke chapter 17, verses 11 through 19. Uh, you, your Bible might call this uh, Jesus cleanses the ten lepers, uh, or maybe the um, the good the Samaritan leper. Uh, so the story, Jesus is is walking on his way to Jerusalem. Remember that about half of the Gospel of Luke, Jesus is making his way to Jerusalem. Uh, we call this the long journey. Anyway, Jesus comes upon this unnamed village. Uh, this story is only in the Gospel of Luke. This unnamed village. And ten lepers cry out, uh, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Remember, lepers back in the day, it could have been any sort of skin disease. Uh, they were not permitted to live um, within the community, within a village, uh, for fear of um, contagion. And so uh, oftentimes they were, well, they were, they were ostracized, they were kept out of society. So it's interesting that they have their own little society, and we hear the ten acting and crying out in one voice, almost like they're a Greek chorus in one of the old Greek tragedies. It says, when Jesus saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were made clean. Then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him, and he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, were not ten made clean, but the other nine, where are they? Was none of them found to return and give praise to God except this foreigner? Then he said to him, get up and go on your way. Your faith has made you well. Now, one of the, the key lines I think in here is in verse 15. One of them, when he saw that he was healed. When he saw that we, he was healed. St. John of the Cross uh, was an old Spanish monk, and he said that the journey to know God and the journey to know yourself are the same journey. And that as we uh, go on the path of greater discipleship, we will come to know ourselves more and more. And I think this is part of what's going on here, is that uh, this man is able to stop for a moment and to look and to see that he is healed. And by seeing that he has been healed, by seeing himself, he knows that he has to go praise God. Uh, he has this, this, this twofold thing we're talking about here of uh, being able to see yourself and to see God at the same moment. Now, of course, uh, it turns out that this one is a Samaritan. That's a foreigner. Uh, Jews of the time, Judeans of the time, and Samaritans uh, didn't really get along too well, though they had a, a common ancestry uh, in the Mosaic law and the Mosaic tradition. Uh, and, and so it's interesting that we see um, this new community then being built around Jesus, that uh, the nine go back to their communities, but this one Samaritan who would not have been accepted into the village to which the other nine were going, this one Samaritan comes back to Jesus. And, and we see then almost, uh, well, this is what we do see. We see a new community being formed around Jesus as Messiah. That the old distinctions of uh, in-caste and outcast, of uh, foreigner and native, those are all torn down. And what truly matters is that the individual has had an experience of Jesus and that their lives are now totally rewritten around that story, uh, the story of the Messiah. Now, there's one thing in here that, that I'm not quite certain of and that I want to do a little bit more research on. But, hey, it's only Monday, so, you know, give me a break. When Jesus says, go and show yourselves to the priests. Now, it's interesting, then, that one of them does come back and shows himself to Jesus in a way. And, and I'm wondering if Luke is subtly, uh, or not so subtly, uh, reminding us that Jesus is functioning as priest here, um, priest as bridge builder, priest as um, authority in the religious community, though not the type uh, and category uh, of priest um, that was imagined in or maybe possibly was imagined in Leviticus. You can see I'm kind of still working through this. But I think it's interesting that 
all throughout the Gospel of Luke, we have these moments where Jesus is in the temple, and the temple plays a, a crucial role in the life of Jesus um, uh, growing up. And I'm wondering then when Jesus says to go and show yourselves to the priest, and then that one comes back, if in a way we are uh, we are being told that, hey, wink, wink, nudge, 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 Jesus is the true priest here, and that uh, Jesus is the one who truly uh, gives us um, acceptance into this new community which he is building around himself, uh, that community of the kingdom of God, that community uh, that we now call the church. So, hey, thank you all so much. Go Astros, and I can't wait to see you on Sunday, October 13th, as we continue our pledge campaign here at Holy Comforter called A New Beginning. And indeed, this is a new beginning for this Samaritan man, isn't it? That he is giving uh, uh, not only uh, health, not only acceptance into a community, but given a new identity as a follower of Jesus, a member of the kingdom of God.